Hello and welcome to another episode of JAG TV. Bullying is a real problem and affects over 3.2 million students a year. Effects of bullying can carry into adulthood for those bullied, those who witness it, and those who bully. With more on bullying, here's Lane. Solutions for bullying aren't simple but involve the entire school and community to help. One way to do this is by creating a culture of respect for everyone. One way DC has created a sense of community is throughout Homecoming Week. There have been lots of fun and participation from students and staff. Let's check out some of them. Congratulations to this year's Homecoming Court. All the Homecoming Maids will be presented at halftime of tonight's game, and two princesses and one Homecoming Queen will be named. Good luck to all of our maids. We did a few outfit checks this week. Let's see what people had to say. My sunglasses are from Target. My hat is from my grandma's closet. My earrings are from Target. My necklace is from Ultimate Gifts. My jacket is from Dillard's. My shirt is Lululemon. My pants are airy. My shoes are on cloud. And my bag is from Ultimate Gifts. Miss <laughs> Manager is always dressed cute, but her clothes aren't what got her this week's Football Teacher of the Week. Here's Dustin Wheeler on why he chose her. This award is well deserved. Congratulations to Miss Manager. We asked students what their favorite homecoming day has been and what day they would like. Let's hear what they said. Kickoff for the game tonight is at 7 p.m. and the theme is Dressed to Impress. Band and choir both compete tomorrow. Best of luck to all those competing next week. Don't forget to sign up for the Home Run 5K and support Student Council's quest to raise the most money in the county. That's all for this week. See you next time. Any junior who is interested in applying for the U.S. Senate Youth Program can see Ms. Springer in the Council's office for an application. Selection for this program is based on leadership, involvement, and academic achievement. The deadline to apply is September 30th. DCHS is starting a National Art Honor Society. There's an interest meeting Tuesday, September 13th and C2 at 6 p.m. You must have completed one visual arts credit to apply. See Ms. Rutherford in E5 for more information. Senior quarterback Andrew Moore presented this week's Football Teacher of the Week to Ms. Foucault. Let's see why he chose her. Homecoming is right around the corner and shirts are on sale. They are $20 and can be paid on RevoPay or by taking cash or check to Ms. Chalk and B27. The deadline to purchase a shirt is September 16th. D.C. is starting a new club called Family Career Community Leaders of America, or FCCLA. There will be an interest meeting Monday, September 12th at 7.55 a.m. Our staff had a little fun this week and tested students and staff's best animal noises. Let's check them out. D.C.'s award-winning theater department is performing Anne of a Thousand Days tonight and tomorrow night. The show is about King Henry VIII and Anne Bolin. Tickets are $5 each and the show starts at 7 p.m. Volleyball is halfway through their season, and Tuesday night, senior volleyball players were recognized before their match. Sarah has more on that story. Volleyball had a long week last week with varsity playing 24 sets in five days. Football picked up their first win in their home opener against Lake Cormorant. Swim had their season opener, and cross country had their first night race of the season. With more on sports, here's Luke and Sarah. Hello, and welcome to another episode of JAG TV. Fellowship of Christian Athletes started nationally in 1954 by Don McClendon in Norman, Oklahoma. Here's Kathleen with more on FCA and their impact on D.C. campus. Congratulations to Ms. Chalk. Esports is a new thing for Mississippi. Although it has grown in popularity across the country for the last 10 years, it is a billion-dollar industry with millions being offered in scholarships for aspiring athletes across the nation. D.C. recently started an esports team on campus. Here's Maggie with more on the story. D.C. hosted a college fair on Wednesday for juniors and seniors. This gave them a chance to learn about different collegiate options after high school. Sixteen schools attended the college fair. We asked students for questions about themselves and experiences. Let's see what they had to say. Congratulations to Band for placing at State. Cheer had their first year competition and took home first place in game day and second place in traditional. Congratulations to them. Coach Smith was chosen as this week's Football Teacher of the Week. Let's see what makes her great. Don't forget the fall dance is November 5th from 6 to 9 at D.C. Tickets are available for purchase during all lunches. Everyone needs to have some fun, so let's see what people's funniest moments were last week. Jackathon is hosting a dodgeball tournament on November 18th during first and second blocks. 32 teams can sign up and students can purchase tickets to come watch. Purchase tickets before school or during lunch. Basketball had a jamboree last weekend and soccer started last night. For all this week's sports recaps and upcoming events, here's Luke and Sarah. Congratulations to Preston and O'Mare on their top finishes at the chess tournament, and congratulations to the entire chess team for first place team finish. Blake Burnett has this week's Football Teacher of the Week. Let's see why he chose her. Christmas activities are starting, parades are coming up, people are decorating for the holidays, and doing lots of shopping. The cold temperatures will make for cold parade nights. Reagan and Gianni have this week's weather. Don't forget to purchase your tickets for the Winterfest dance at the Lander Center. The dance is January 14th and tickets are $40 and can be bought during lunches. Hall of Fame applications are available for seniors and can be picked up in Miss Springer's office. They are due December 9th. That's all for this week's episode. See you guys next week. Yeah.